Hey, I get a lot of people out there asking me, what holsters am I using for my SIG P320 RX models, both my full size here and my compact here? Well, I've only carried the compact really, but the holsters I have for both of them are from Renaissance Firearms. I wanted to go ahead and answer that here on camera because Renaissance is hard to type and people keep asking me, where'd you get it? And I have to remember how to spell Renaissance and it's a long word and I'm not a good typist. So I'm really tired of answering that email. So I thought I'd make a little video here and show you, these are the ones I have. They're from Renaissance Firearms. I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video below so you can take a look at them. Oh, but before I move on to the next topic here, I do want to say that he does have molds to make holsters for people that use both the Streamlight lights and for people like me that use the Enforce lights. So he's one of the few I've found that makes holsters that handle the red dot sight and an Enforce light. But now that I've shown you those, I want to show you some other holsters he just sent me. Kiapa Rhino holsters for the four inch Kiapa Rhino. Now these are outside waistband, but I'm sure these can be made to be inside waistband because I get people asking me all the time, what's a good inside waistband holster for the Kiapa Rhino four inch? Sometimes the two inch too, but more often the four inch. And this is the first time I've ever actually had Kydex holsters for a revolver, especially for a Kiapa Rhino. So uh, before now, all I've had was leather. So this is the first time I've ever even seen Kydex ones. So for all you people that are asking, uh, where are some good Kydex holsters or some inside waistband holsters for a four inch Rhino? Looks like some are coming. I love this one here he made for me. This has the Gadsden flash on it. It's kind of a superhero gun rights crossover. Uh, Code of Conduct made me a shirt like this and then he copied it for the holster. So I could wear the shirt and holster and be matching. That's really cool. But uh, that might be a little bit too matching. But this is really cool looking. I can't wait to use this this summer. If we want to talk about being practical and looking good, look at this brown faux leather one. I mean, this thing looks awesome. I've got my little Prince Tribute 4-inch Kiapa Rhino in here, and man, does it look good. I mean, this thing looks so nice, you could actually wear this to like a nice restaurant or a wedding or a funeral or something. It's just really nice. I would actually call this holster, I don't know, sizzler worthy. You could wear this out for a night on the town. It would look awesome. So I just want to take a moment here to show you. That's the holsters I use for the P320 RX models. And here's the holster coming for the four inch Kiapa Rhino. Hopefully you'll have it available soon. He also said he's working on one for a three inch 586 or 686 plus. If he does that, I'll really be in heaven. If he makes one of these for a three inch 686 uh, revolver, especially one with an unfluted cylinder, I'll be over the moon because I've always wanted one for that gun. So I'll keep my eyes open for that. But for now, I thought I'd answer the questions on who makes these holsters and where you can get them. Like I said, below there'll be a link in the description so you can find one for yourself. does have molds for the uh what's the name of that fucking light what's the name of that fucking light Enforce.